in the last episode. With our protagonist first to reach level 2, Papa leveled up Q blasting Kaiser in melee range. Sadly Lord Wider whiffed his claw, and with the enemy bot lane leveling up, they turned on Wai Dian Jin, until Papa turned on them again blinding the mute harpist by flashing on her face letting the virtuoso secure the first blood, missing his claw again because that's how claw machines work sometimes. It was an early bloodbath in the bot lane with all of them activating their one death power spikes. With the recent nerf to Jack Show, Y Guy created a brand new build for Swain, giving birth to the ultimate good guy Crow Guy life form with Guardian, Font of Life and Radiant Virtue. A fight in the mid lane occurred with the enemy team catching Diana alone and out of position, but Lord Wydra being the pillar for his team, became the front line for this fight healing an immense amount despite being grievously wounded. Y Guy survived the encounter as his friends laid waste on their adversaries leading to our protagonist's victory. Oh boy, I don't like where this is going. From what just happened, you can already tell that we won't be getting any ganks from our jungle of this game. This game has existed for 13 years now, yet the same problem exists. It's really sad to see how easy it is to ruin a game of League. Take this Cartus and Cassadin for example. I don't want to further dwell in this problem because let's face it, League can and will definitely exist for another 20 years, and this problem will still remain. An ally has been slain. And best of all, these players can queue up for another game without being punished, and Papa has a chance to have them on his team. Too bad, League is by far the best competitive game out there, but these kind of unpunished behavior just ruins the game to be honest. After shock on Swain question mark, well I don't blame Papa, the incident from last game might have affected his choice of keystone this game. I don't want to jinx it, but I pray to the matchmaking gods that may you strengthen this jinx's mental and not give up after that mistake.
a tragedy befell on Nunu, and with the enemy jungle waiting on the side, why guy can't retaliate, but after facing Vayne for a couple of times on the previous episodes, Papa learned something. Vayne players will always greed for another wave no matter what. Nice roam by Papa though. Heraldo doing all the heavy lifting at the moment, completely opening the enemy mid lane, turning their attention to the top lane, the enemy team decides to challenge our protagonist. See how fun League can be without the mentally challenged individuals to ruin your game. I have a confession to make. I don't think Aftershock is working. I knew it, Papa should have went for the mid inhibitor, or maybe it was his plan all along seeing that this episode is not 10 minutes yet. Nice, now we can finally go for the end. 